Welcome back. I hope everyone is having a wonderful holiday at the moment. And if you're not on holiday, well, I hope you're having a good time anyway. We are making our way through the Sea of Milk. And Pazuzu is immune to ice again. I forgot. That's fine. We can fix this problem. Quickly. Okay, maybe he's just immune to magic in general. That would make sense. Let's let's try one more. Oh no, he's not. Okay, well, we know how to deal with Pazuzu's now. But um, this looks to be a long dungeon, so strap in and we're in it for the long haul. I am going to kill a few things because we're, we're already overpowered. The game is going to be easy anyway. I might as well try to learn some of the cooler abilities. Because at this point, any grinding or anything else I learn is just... It's just going to... It's not really going to make much of a difference. So I'm not going to fret too much on trying to run from every battle. I am going to run from a good number of them because I hate random battles, but I do still want to get those mantras. Okay, so we went left last time, so now we can continue our way up. Alright, nothing in this area. But I was kind of hoping we would get some cool music. But it seems like we're only getting rain ambient noises. Because the Sahas Rara music is actually some amazing stuff. I guess it is kind of eerily creepy hearing our footsteps and then the rain. Okay, so we could go left or we could continue on this way. I'm just gonna leave here. Makala's interesting. Okay. Let's just focus this one down. Because the last time we ran into them, they were on their own. And they summoned like a high pixie to heal them. So Detecting a rapidly approaching heat source. Evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. What? What? So this is where you are hiding, you worthless pieces of trash. It's my duty to devour the useless. You got that? If you understand, then answer me, you worthless pieces of trash. Um... Okay, what? I'm gonna have to debilitate this guy. I am debilitating you. Oh wait, I forgot, he has debilitate too. Oh jeez, okay. Interesting. I don't have the Kaja or anything equipped. Uh, 
but I can get you to minus four first. Yeah, that's right. Okay. Now you're probably repel physical, which is gonna suck. Except I can't really take advantage of that. Uh, let's see if I can actually eat you. Oh! Okay. I can. He's bloody too, so... I'm gonna try to eat him again. I guess it only worked because I got a crit last time. Okay. I really want to eat him. So I'm going to pass here and see if maybe he'll survive this. Nope. Okay, well, we still got some pretty good um, karma from that. Gale has debilitate now. No death and stuff. All right, now we have triple debilitate, but um, probably not gonna put debilitate on Gale. What I will do instead is give him Oh wait, actually no, let's give him debilitate and then surf because you have you're the only one with Xanadu, Dekaja, and Dekunda. I'm gonna give him Dekaja and Dekunda in case I run into more uh, dudes with Debilitate. And, um... Xanadu, I never mentioned this, but Xanadu is just a light expel attack. Yeah, heavy damage expel all. Which, not bad, but I'm not gonna equip that on Surf. Okay, where? There's it, there it is. Yeah, so no debilitate on Surf anymore. We'll just have him have Dekunda. Actually, yeah, Dekunda. I guess Dekaja is really good too. I mean, you don't really need Dekaja if you have double debilitate. So yeah, let's just have Dekunda on him, and then I'll put debilitate on Gale. Because he has way more MP. Um, let's just do that. Perfect. And then maybe I'll even give him a chakra walk. Maybe I'll have him learn that next. Just so he can focus on debilitating for us. Okay, let's use a noise here to give Surf some MP back. And I never checked what Surf learned. So he got... Mind Scream? Not bad, not bad. Physical Stun to all. Actually might... Moderate damage. You know, it might be better than Sakura Rage. So Sakura Rage is random, but Sakura Rage also procs, like, proc two or three times on the same target, which is what kills them. However, I think there isn't null stun, or less things are going to be immune to stun. So let's try Mind Scream. And I got Insatiable, Moderate Damage, Hunt All. Heavy Damage, Hunt One Enemy. Yeah. No, I'd rather have consume. And that's 148 HP. Holy crap. I want to get whatever Magatama is going to reduce the HP consumption from these skills. That is 
kind of ridiculous. I'm just going to keep going forward and hope that I find a save point soon so I can switch mantras. I'm going to go back and check out the other door because I feel like that's the correct way to go. So we want to make sure we explore all the other paths first. Maybe I should move Gale to the front now that he has debilitated. Well, no, it doesn't really matter. I could just pass with Surf if I need to go double debilitate. Best case scenario, I max out all five mantras before I get to the save point. So actually, I could probably just pass here, Zandine, and I should be able to just eat. Or you could have less than 400 HP. Sure. I'm gonna set Cielo with that before I forget. Probably not going to be using Cielo ever again in this game, but who knows, he might come up. It's just he wastes so many slots to nullify his weaknesses. And I guess I don't really have to nullify everything, because if I go up against a boss, I know what the boss is going to be using after fighting him two or three times. So. It's not so bad if I use Cielo against bosses, but I think against random enemies, Cielo is just not, not the one who you want around here. Because he's just gonna give the enemy so many free turns. Because it's not even like you have to use a turn to specifically target an ailment. A lot of these attacks, like Mind Scream, automatically target ailments in addition to doing physical damage. So, Cielo is just not good until I can get something better than separate null ailments on him. Maybe that'll come up when I do more optional bosses. But uh, speaking of optional bosses, someone mentioned that... Uh, someone mentioned that the optional bosses are going to be unlocked after I get through like the final part of this dungeon. Which means I'm going to have to do this puzzle twice or something. Um, I will go back and fight those optional bosses, and if I have to do the dungeon twice, then I'll do it off screen. The second time. But yeah, I do plan on doing all of the optional bosses up until the end of the game, at least. From what I understand, the super boss, unfortunately, can only be unlocked after completing the second playthrough again. So, I don't think that's gonna happen. Because that would just take too much time to have to complete this game again off screen in order to unlock that boss.
but yeah, anything that I can do in this playthrough, I will. also been thinking about the next playthrough that I'm gonna be doing after this game and I'm pretty sure that I've settled on just going ahead and going with DDS2 right after I know that's what you guys want too and if we did a poll or anything you probably would vote for that anyway so why don't we just go ahead and finish the DDS series and then we'll move on to something else. I've heard a lot of talk of the other SMT games and I definitely want to play them as well eventually. But I guess right now we're just going to focus on completing this one first. I really should have made a save state just in case it was going to freeze, but luckily it didn't. We got Wikipedia. Last meal, bloodbath, devour mana. I mean, if I had devour mana, though, eh, actually it's not that good. Bloodbath, though. Bloodbath? That'd be awesome. I don't know why it's called Wikipedia. Oh, but what we want is Beelzebub. 1.2 million. I'm getting close. Vicious God. Can't even afford that yet. Um, I probably want to buy something low, like boost. Oh, actually, I want to get you MP. Yeah. I don't want to use too much money because I'm saving up for Beelzebub. So let's just get you simple things. Simple, easy things. Um, I really don't care what you learn, Cielo. I'm just going to give you all the elements. It's whatever. And then Surf. I need you to get Beelzebub eventually, but I guess for now, we'll, we'll give you this. But uh, yeah, I plan on finishing Digital Devil Saga first, and then we'll move on to either a non-SMT game, or maybe we could try another SMT game in the series. But honestly, I don't know what games are good and what aren't, isn't, so... I'll probably leave that up to you guys. See what you want to see next. Okay, but we got some more music now. Now that we're above zero feet. It looks like we're back inside the main area of the Karma Temple. I'm not sure how far this goes. And it's a little unnerving to see a single Titania. I feel like, oh, theory cell though. Nice. Yeah, I think Titanias actually drop a lot of those cells. Because when I was fighting them in the Beelzebub hallway, every time I got Titanias, I came out with a lot of money and a lot of cells. 
so they might actually be worth grinding on if you can find a good place to do that. And if you need a lot of money, which I kind of do, actually. Because I do want that Beelzebub mantra to be learned. I'm going to make this episode a little longer than usual. But I guess it's not really longer because, I mean, Beelzebub was like an hour long. But a little longer than exploration episodes usually are. And that's because we didn't really explore much. So I want us to make some significant progress before we continue. Okay, well, Nakunda definitely justified. That would have been annoying. The first one, not so bad, but the second one, yeah, it was starting to get bad. God damn it. All right. Samile, we meet again. So, the way I dealt with Samile before in the tunnels was I froze his ass with Kokaitis. And then I just went all out, trying to beat him down. All right. Okay, luckily we dodged it. Um, I'm just going to leave Heat there, because I would rather you just kill Heat so I could revive him. You. Okay, if you're gonna physical repel, then I'm gonna go ahead and revive him. Honestly, this is much easier than the other one. I mean, one smile versus two. W what do you prefer? This is getting pretty annoying though. If this continues on, I might start debilitating him. To make this easier. Because if he's just gonna stone gaze me all the time, I'd rather he didn't. So yeah, let's just debilitate his ass. We can probably just start kicking his ass. Um, if I can get a freeze, it would be good. Or at least a stun. Okay. I might actually just eat his... After. Or you could just die. Uh, we got a magic mirror from that. I guess that was in the chest, though. Alright. 
And I think you deserve a noise. And I can actually just use another one on heat. So I think from that chest there, that ambush chest, we can kind of see the difference in level in terms of the difficulty in the um, side dungeons versus the difficulty in this dungeon. Because in side dungeon, you got two some miles after almost every single encounter which is just ridiculous. Moderate damage, physical all. Physical attack damage more than doubles. Oh, well, yeah. Moderate damage, physical all. Wait. Power wave and chi blast are the same. But power wave costs less HP, so why would I use chi blast? Great feast. Okay. Sounds like a trash ability. Alright, I'm gonna head back to the mantra terminal or karma terminal so that I can change my mantras. I can continue on forward here, yes. Okay. So let's go ahead and change that real quick. Um, actually, I am gonna fight these things. Oh, why did I do that? That was dumb. Of titanias here though. Nice! Perfect, okay. Uh, what was here? Wait. Oh, okay, yeah. So this is the way I want it to go. Let's see, I might actually teleport out here and go sell my cells and see if I have enough for Beelzebub. Um, I think I could just teleport Karma Temple 1. And where is this? Will this take me out to zoo? Yeah, this takes me out here. So I could actually just go and sell real easily. And I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Um, unfortunately, we didn't get enough money for the Beelzebub. And even if we did, it would have been just barely. And I wouldn't be able to afford mantras for the other people. So we're going to have to hold off on that a little bit longer. But I can go ahead and give you this. So you can start learning power charge. Um, heat, you're going to take something easy. Should probably try to get him Agidine. So that he doesn't have to use ice. Argilla, you need to have... Um, why am I not using Argilla again instead of Gale? Is it because Gale doesn't have 
karma? It's because Gale doesn't have mucho karma. Yep, so you can go with this. And Gale. No, Gale does have mutual karma. So why am I not using Arjilla? Oh, because she doesn't have resistance. I forgot to give her resistance again. Can I? Can I just change you? Yeah, I know it's it's expensive. Okay, well, that's at least unlocked. And then you, I don't I don't really care. Okay. Yeah, I really want to use Argilla because her magic stat is crazy. So if I can get her that resistance, I'm gonna replace Gale with her. Because she has debilitate now too. But I think I'm gonna go ahead and end the episode here. And next time we're gonna continue exploring the Karma Temple. We're gonna go up to... I guess I'll meet you guys back where we were. And... We're gonna go... Try to get to the top of this place. I don't know how large it is. But it'll probably take us a few episodes. And if you have any uh, recommendations for what to play after DDS2, any other good SMT games that you think would be a good follow-up to this, let me know in the comments so that I can uh, try to figure out what I want to, like how I would play that, because I know a lot of the games are on like DS and stuff too, which isn't really a problem. Um, I can find ways to work around that, but um, you know, just let me know what games I should check out. Until then, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.